The next one is Seven Group, 65% owned by the Stokes family. Kerry Stokes, you know, it owns Caterpillar franchise West Track, Coates Hire, 72% of the building materials company Boral, 30% of Beach Energy and 40% of Channel 7 owner Seven West Media. Well, half-year profit climbed 31% to $474 million with very strong growth from Coates, West Track and Boral. Revenue grew 17% to $5.38 billion. The dividend, it's steady, 23 cents a share. Now, the company today is worth around $14 billion. Today, I asked its chief executive, Ryan Stokes, about the government's controversial new IR laws, especially for labour hire companies, which are major customers of his businesses. I think particularly where sectors are highly efficient and require that efficiency and flex uh, accordingly. So, yeah, yeah we're conscious around uh, the need to provide that uh, flexibility uh, and, and that, that uh, impact that may have. Um, from our perspective, we, we don't think it'll, uh, it'll be a, as big an impact. I think it, where we might find it's going to have um, impacts on, on efficiency and cost. Big changes at IR and how they may impact uh, you know, key industries is, is something which we need to be taken very carefully to make sure it doesn't disrupt what's a competitive advantage that, that Australia's had. And the full interviews with Ryan Stokes and also with Matt Common will be on Business Weekend this Sunday, 11am Eastern Daylight Time. Now, Ed, the Seven Group shares, how did they go? <coughs> Ross, investors love the result today from Seven. The company actually soared to a record high. So Seven Group shares, uh, they were up strongly. It was the top performer on the market. OK, we're going to move now to down at EDI. And you can see here, it's the engineering contract. A half-year profit grew 6% to $72 million. The revenue slipped, but the dividend, it increased to six cents a share. The recently appointed chief executive, Peter Tompkins, is trying to restore trust after a tough year. And that's included accounting problems, profit warnings, its chief financial officer resigning, and its long-term CEO also standing down. Ed, it's been struggling for months. So what about today? Bit of a resurrection today, Ross, on the market. It really came rocketing back. It was the best performer out of the ASX 200. Group's underlying earnings were better than expected. It jumped 11.2%.